Hey my loves, it's your girl Mary J. Welcome back to yet another video. Hey, video. Hey, video. Nah, welcome back, y'all. If this is the first time you are seeing my face, you are absolutely welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join my family. While you're at it, turn on your post notification bell so therefore you are notified every time I post a video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this fall look going on. It's fall, guys. One of my favorite seasons. Please stick around if you'd like to see how I got this look. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy. <laughs> As you can see, my brows are already done. I will go ahead and link my eyebrow tutorial down below for you guys. What I'm doing right now is I am prepping my eyelids for my for my eyeshadow. I am using my P. Louise Rumor Base. I am in the color two, and I'm just using a blending brush and I'm just buffing that in, getting my base nice and ready for my eyeshadow. Using Aunt Jackie's palette, we are using the color Ginger. With a fluffy brush, I'm going to apply Ginger all over my crease area. I love this color. I think it's a good transition color. It's nice and warm and it's really pretty. Using another blending brush, I'm going in with the color Credit. That's that dark brown shade in the palette. And I'm using that to darken up my crease a little bit. I love this color. This has to be one of my favorite colors in the palette as a whole. I love how dark it is. And I love how it made this look, you know, come together nice and seamless. Next, I'm going into my Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette, and I'm using the black shade just to deepen the crease up a little bit, and as well as the outer um, corners of my eyes. I definitely wanted this look to be really dark um, around the crease area. I'm mad that there was a little bit of glitter um, on my brush, so that's why I'm so upset at this point because, as you can see, there's this glitter there, and I'm trying to take it off by adding some more black and so therefore it can get as dark as I you know really envisioned the look to be going back into credit i am going to blend in that black i don't want it to be harsh though i still wanted the edges to be nice and blended out but you know dark as well Thank you. 
So next I am going to be cutting my crease. I am using the same rumor base in color two with a flat makeup brush to cut my crease. I love a good cut crease guys. So please take your time and um, it, this is very tedious guys because ultimately it, it is the whole look. You want your cut crease to be nice and crispy and nice and straight and defined. So do take your time even though this video is a little sped up. I did take um, some time cutting my crease and I wanted to make sure that it was nice and perfect. Going in with that black, I'm going to be blending the edges of um, that cut crease um, a little bit. Therefore, it is not too harsh. Wanted this look to be nice and blended. Going back into the Jackie Ines palette, I am going to be using that green shade called Sponsored this green guys it is the whole look i love how shiny it is but it still gives me fall vibes so it is so pretty the camera is really not doing this color justice it's super super pretty in person Using my Kat Von D liquid matte liner, I am going to be giving myself a nice wing liner. Next, using a smaller makeup brush, I am going to um, put some black eyeshadow on top of that wing liner just to um, intensify it a little bit and make it even more of a matte look. Next, I am using my mascara to prep my lashes for my falsies. The lashes that I'm going to be using in this video are from the G Code. Please make sure you check her out. I will go ahead and link her Instagram down below as well as the style that I used in this video. Guys, I love her lashes, y'all. Please make sure you check her out. 
that is the completed eye look i went ahead and did the other eye of camera like so boom they are looking it came out just perfect guys and now i am going to be doing my face makeup starting off with primer hydro grip milk primer i freaking love this primer guys you if you know me you know I, this is this is my day one primer i'm always using this stuff it's it's bomb Next, I'm going in with foundation. I am using Juvia's Place Foundation Stick. I love this foundation. I'm in the shade Zambia. And this has really became one of my favorite foundations. I love how it applies. I love the coverage. I just love everything about it. Now, I am going in with concealer i'm going to be highlighting i am using born this way concealer i don't remember the shade that i'm in but i will link that down below i will link all of the products that i use in this video down below so please make sure you check out the description bar for all of the products that i've used and i'm just gonna blend this out nice and even i love this concealer the coverage is just beautiful Next, I'm going to set my highlighter areas with my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. Guys, <laughs> I'm always using this, this um, setting powder. I've yet to find another one that I love. So, I am going to get serious about looking because I really want to try something else. So, I'm just highlighting um, or setting the highlighted areas. Next, I am going to be using my cream bronzer from Fenty Beauty to contour. I love this bronzer, guys. It's dark enough. It's creamy. It applies smoothly. It, Guys, I'm in the shade chocolate. And just look at those highlighted, not highlighted, look at those contour lines. That is bomb. So I'm going ahead snatching my face up because you know that's one of my favorite parts about doing makeup as well contour gotta snatch your face snatch it this is the key guys next i'm going to be contouring my nose um guys i do plan on doing another video specifically um on just contouring so if you'd like to see that Please let me know down below if that's something you are interested in. And I will definitely get that out to you. Going back in with my setting powder, I am going to reverse contour just to snatch my face in even more. Even more, guys. Look at them cheekbones. And now I am um, also setting um, the corners of my nose. And look how snatched I just got my nose to look. Yes yes <laughs> using my powder brush i'm just going to dust all that setting powder away and also i am going to be using my my powder from mac cosmetics um i would go ahead and link the color that i'm in as well and i'm using that to also um help dust off that um setting powder Using my bronzer from Fenty, I am going to be adding some warmth back into my face. I am in the shade Mocha Mommy. Just period. Just love this stuff. I'm almost done with this video, guys. Please drop a heart down below if you have stayed true and you made it this far into the video. Going back to my eyes, I am going to be using the same shades that I use on my lids 
and I'm just going to be applying that on my lower lash line and that should just complete the look. Next, we are going to be highlighting, as you know, this is my favorite part, using my highlight from Morphe. I am just going to be highlighting the cheeks, my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and that's it. <laughs> but I love this highlighter. It's just so flawless. It's subtle, but it's still cute. It is a nice glow and a nice finish. Love it. Next, I'm going to use this brown lip liner. Got it from my local beauty supply. And I'm using it to outline my lips and prepping it for my lipstick. For today's lipstick, I'm using this nice nude creamy lipstick from ColourPop. I will go ahead and link the color down below again like i mentioned everything that i use in this video will be linked down below so i got y'all don't y'all worry now i'm just setting my face and this is the finished look guys i hope you enjoyed it thank you guys so much for watching to the end thank you for your love and your support thank you for liking this video leaving a comment down below and also subscribing if you haven't guys thank you i love you guys and i'll catch you in another one